what can you recognize this organ to be? Well, peripherally here, there's a thick fibrous capsule. And in the parenchyma, or body of the organ itself, you could see structures that look like little tubules. And some of these tubules are filled with uh, nice crisp cells. And many, if not the majority of tubules, look like they don't have any texture to them at all. It looks like they are hyalinized, just like we saw hyalinized islets and hyalinized glomeruli. Well, these are seminiferous tubules of the testis. And here's a few that are not hyalinized, but the, the majority of them are. This is a classical pattern seen with atrophy of the testis. Also note that in a normal testis, these little uh, red cells between the tubules, lytic cells, are usually seen just very much in a scattered one or two at a time basis. And here there seems to be clusters of them. It looks like there is a hyperplasia, so to speak, of the um, interstitial cells of Leydig uh, between these hyalinized tubules. This is a very, very classic pattern for uh, testicular atrophy caused by a whole variety of things. And I'm sure there's probably 20 or 30 on the list, but I could probably think of three or four. Old age, radiation, chemotherapy, or administration of hormones which counteract testosterone, which are estrogens. These are all common causes of testicular atrophy, and this is a very classical appearance of it. Thank you very much.